so um I did this book Audible and on paperback. You know, Lisa and I were talking about getting the book for, we thought it would be beneficial. We both did Audible. Amberlynn and Stacy are back. <laughs> um, I texted Stephanie to see if she was coming too. Probably too early in the morning for her. <laughs> yeah. Um. Did you guys bring your book? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, where do you, how do you guys want to start? I've never gone to a book club before. Me so, either. Me yeah, either. this is new. So this is for people online. This is the book that we're reading this month. Um, what did you guys think? Do you guys have questions? No questions. No. No, I didn't have any questions. I honestly felt like I, well, I love all of the information here. Um, I feel like I'm just so much of a noob that this, this chick is like, like way beyond what I So I just feel like I have so much more that has to happen before I can get to her level. No, no. And don't feel that way because, um, I, for me, this was, I felt like a baby. So for, for me, because I am not, um, I'm not a process person. This is probably more for my husband. He's an engineer. So, um, he would probably love this stuff. And this, this is where I'm a bad coaching client is I, it took me a year. I put my foot in the dirt and I was like I'm not doing this I'm not doing this and they were like you um if you're starting through her listings lab and you're going through the coaching then the book makes sense I think if you're just reading the book it's like this is just a lot of information and I don't they know how to right it, yeah. yeah it's kind of like wait this isn't More really real estate yeah, yeah it's it's just info um which is good and like the last part is if you're um if you have a team or you're looking to grow or you have a business but i think you still have to have the information um because like she said you just you never want to be in like emergency mode and, you, and I've been there like, oh crap, I've got to hire this or you've got to hire that. And then you're, you're working with people you don't like or they're in the wrong fit, the wrong place. And um, so, and it's hard because I think um, real estate agents, we're all the same personalities, even though we're not, we attract like the same um vibe like we're scatterbrained ADHD or we're impulsive and we're like boom 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 right so and we're creative and um um maybe we're not sales or we like people or we don't we can be introverts like she's an introvert so she likes automation she loves social media she don't have to talk to people you do and you don't right to a, a certain point but um um i forgot where i was going with that um her team keeps her organized too um 
let's just I like the way that she I wrote like the that. book because she is talking to us not just writing and yeah I think that's kind of what I I really liked about it yeah it makes more sense to me that way what were you going to say sir? I was just saying I really liked um just that trifecta of like the relevancy intimacy and omnipresence mm -hmm. um I like in things when people put things in threes it's easy to remember mm -hmm. yeah and I think that's a good trifecta so yeah I like that. yeah well and she actually did this um and and I like how she puts her personal twist on it so she starts it out where she's a young agent and I I don't know about you guys I got my license and I was young I think Lisa did too and yeah okay so same thing and and we all learned the old school way of how to do things and it really hasn't changed over the years we're all doing the same real estate activities and it's you've got to always be available you always have to answer your phone you've got to do 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 and when she spit her spaghetti out in the napkin on her date and then came back and it wasn't even a call that was worth it you know um I was like oh yeah well that's me that's me every day and my family either understands or they don't understand and it's a constant battle in my house and um or I just don't go on dates I just don't go out I just don't have a personal life you know yeah. or or do you find the balance you either have too much of a personal life and you're not working yeah that's me that's me I'm on the opposite end of that spectrum because my home and personal life feel it just feels like a lot in this chapter this phase right now and then I'm having to to let some of that go and be okay with saying okay I don't need to be running this and this and this and this Right. So that I can give more to my business so that I can participate mm -hmm. more and actually get my business going. Right. And explain to them, hey, guys, that this is what mom's doing and I'm sacrificing or, hey, why don't you guys help me? Yeah. <laughs> like get them involved yeah. and have them. And that's what I did when my kids even got older is you know, bring them along when you're looking at houses, have them in the photos and the videos. Like, this is your family. This is my team. Okay. Well, you guys want mom time. This is what we're going to do is together. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, get them involved. And, and I did that with my kids. Okay. Well, you want to go skate or you want to go on this trip? Well, then we're going to work together to make money so that we can benefit. Um, and, and Dylan and Ryan, so I don't know where you guys are in the listings lab, but she talks about in here your energy audit. And I, I need to look in Sweet Assist, there's a listings lab link. And I did upload documents that I had to go through um, in my coaching. And Lisa remembers. Uh, and so my energy audit, there's, she did talk about it. There is a document in there for the energy audit. And I had to fill out this spreadsheet. I had to carry it with me. And every single thing I did, every phone call, every single activity I had to write down, every phone call I took, ev no, I'm not kidding, everything. And it was like, oh, I'm talking to Lisa now. Oh, I'm talking to the coaches. Oh, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm doing that. I'm watching TV. I'm doing this. Is it a real estate activity? Am I am cleaning the house, doing laundry, washing dishes? And they're there for, I think I had to do it for two weeks, Lisa. And they were like, Ma, where are you spending your time? Now, where can you delegate your time? And they, and it, and it, and it may be a gradual and they're, oh, Dylan was actually talking to me and he's like, Mara, okay, you make X amount of money. Your goals are to get to X amount. So is that in six months or 12 months? Now your goal should be, okay, what can you shift and take off your plate? What can you delegate? Because Jess is about delegating. So what can you automate? What processes can you change? So children, great slave labor. Have them do yeah. certain tasks or 
Do you have, you know, do you hire people to come in and clean your house? Or do you, you know, you change up your routine, but while you're doing that, those couple of hours that you free up that the kids are cleaning house, you should do real estate activities. And then when the kids are done, now you have time you can hang out with the kids. So you're just changing up how you're using your, your time and your hours. Um, and that's all. Um, but it was a big eye opener of what and how I do and how I spend my money. Um, it was where a virtual assistant, when do they come into play? When do you need an admin? Maybe do you need a buyer's, um, a buyer's assistant, a buyer's agent? Maybe you need a listings assistant, a listings agent. Um, and it's when and how to grow your team so that in this book, you're not in emergency mode. And I know a lot of agents think, and I'm glad Jess touched on it, is people freak out. They're like, well, I don't have the money to spend on this. Well, if you're actually putting in the right person, it should increase your income. And that's, that, that's truly what should happen is that as you're putting in these, um, um, you're delegating, it should increase and you should make more money and reduce your stress. So it's, but it's changing the way you think, which is hard. Um, and that's also her marketing. It's changing the way you go about your marketing, changing the way you talk to your audience. It's different. It's a different mentality, changing your videos, how, what you talk about. Um, I have to change my listing presentation. So there, um, all the forms I filled out on my processes, um, that's going into a pretty form that's going into my listing presentation. So the listing presentation's totally changing. Um, what else? What else did she touch on? Um, I have something pulled up here. So I'm on a Kindle. Um, my Kindle says it's page 71. Oh, that's accurate. Anyway. But um, she's talking about perfectionism. Um, oh, that's yeah. That's a character flaw for me. Uh, <laughs> but um, I like I felt like she was speaking directly to my soul um, when she was talking about all all this. Um, and then I in had, what way? Um, confidence is the reward, not the requirement. I always think, well, I don't have enough confidence. I don't know what to say. I've never had this type of conversation, or I haven't had it enough, right? So then I'm thinking, I don't have enough confidence to do it. I just won't do it. But if I don't do it, then I'll never get the confidence yeah. to keep yeah. having it. Exactly. Um, and then yeah. I like the paragraphs down. You don't get to be great without failure. Yep. Without launching, learning, yep. and then iterating. Yep. Business is all about problem solving. If you're constantly waiting for the perfect answer, you never get to learn what the right solution is. Correct. Um, if you go about everything in your in your business and your life from a place of a fear of failure, nothing will ever happen to you or for you, good or bad. Correct. And I was just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> she was yep. speaking directly to me because right? that's where I get stuck. I get that stuck in that um, mode of inaction where I'm afraid of failure, so I just don't do anything at all. But I, I know it. I kind of hit on that same spot too. Whereas when I have to type out an email to someone, I would read it like ten times before I send it. You know, did I, you know, make sure there's no errors? Did I word it right and all this? So yeah, that kind of is a spot that hit on me too. Well, I we're all human. It doesn't, mm -hmm. everyone's human. Everyone screws up. Mm -hmm. And what you think is a failure, we may not even see it. That's what you right. guys have to remember. And, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Like, I mean, I like that Jess is, she posts, she makes a ton of money. She's very successful, but you don't see her all dolled up. She's just real. She's just a real person. You see the other people and, and they legit will be all glammed up and they're posing in front of cars and hey, those aren't real. 
<laughs> people lease those they're in rented houses they're posing in front of houses they're not real yeah so and that's that is the problem with social media and and people posting that they're making tons of money but it um <clears throat> if you're talking about stories and your processes and your family and and why you're in real estate or what you like and things it's real it's not it's not fake so um you're connecting with with people out there it's um i that was one of my fears was the the video thing um and i think the more you do it then the better you get um and just technology but she she breaks it down i don't think it's a confidence thing you have to look at is it your ego or is it you yeah both heads shaking at the same time there <laughs> yeah 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 um and a lot of it is our ego oh i i can just do it i can do it i can do it better or no i can't do it what's your ego telling you um it's it's a constant battle um over and over um like rihanna rihanna was terrified to sing in the super bowl <laughs> procrastination that's another one. Everyone's like, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it. Or I got to get this ready before I can do it. Or I got to get it perfect. Just like you guys were talking about. Um, I like deadlines for that reason. They kind of help me with the procrastination part. Mm -hmm. Just, just, just start, just do yeah. it. To be held accountable helps mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. I like to partner a lot of times or, you know, do basic partner up and then you're holding each other accountable. <laughs> oh, what's up, Steph? Hey, sorry, I joined hey. in late. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just listening to everything you guys have to say. Well, oh, I texted you. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's you. Um, yeah. <laughs> but um, right. So I haven't read it, but I guess if anybody is listening to the recording, hasn't read it, like I don't know, just listening to everything you guys have to say, like, you know, tells me, okay, I need to. I need to read this book so yeah <laughs> um but i wanted to be here anyway and just you know hear hear your guys's thoughts and um you know just i'm excited for um the listening lab and you know everything that you guys have discussed so you know thank you guys for doing this heck yeah well i think this book is definitely something you can read but it's i i like i have things marked i have it on audible too so it's definitely it's a resource um there's another one where you go through it's not the disc it's the kinetic what is it the um personality um I forget what chapter it's on. Um, energy domain. Um, energy where yeah. you're, and in in um, in the listings lab blueprint, you take your energy. You, what is it called? The dime. What is it called? The um. I. That's all I wrote down. To think um, in terms of energy management. Well, 
they audit your personality. Um, what is it called? So the she has a kinetic something or. I know you're about. Maybe that's it. Um, so when you guys go through that, that's really interesting. And I think I I list, listed that in Sweet Assist too. Um, really figuring out how you are as a person and how you're running your business and your household. Um, if you're running it. Um, treating like treating your clients like a friend um trying to save them um it's it's really interesting um setting expectations and asking questions and and just said when she just changed her business when you're actually just being a human and being real and not not um not being salesy right and just not going in without not going in with an agenda nine times out of ten you're gonna get the clients whether it's on the phone or face to face it's because they just want people to connect it's Again, like she says, we're not selling real estate. We're in the relationship business. So it's connecting with people. Um, and then when you get their stories and talk to them, that's what you're sharing on social media. Um, being honest and direct and open-minded. But this is good when you're um when your business starts growing, this is the book you definitely want to for hiring. Um and then the processes to um work on like what are your values and your culture, you know? It's this is it's your business so you get to run it set it up like that um because when you start hiring virtual assistants are one thing but when you start bringing on like a, a buyer's agent or a listings assistant um and you could work with four or five different buyer's agents they may not all fit that profile but if you have a culture or you're looking for certain types then you want to make sure you have your processes in place. You want to make sure they all know your mission, your culture. So this book is going to make sure that you have it all laid out. So super important that you guys are running your businesses e efficiently and effectively and that, you know, obviously you're having fun, right? So I just didn't, I never did that. I just didn't. I just was working, just work, work, work. But um you know i think it's good but finding the balance you know you don't want to be too much play and not enough work because you got to pay your bills but you know working smartly and then having fun is good too having a yeah. healthy work-life balance yes. yeah yeah yeah, everything is not an emergency. That's something I've had to work through, like talking with Dylan and Ryan there. Dylan, Dylan will say, Mara, what's an emergency to you? So set up and people can schedule time with you. Same thing with your clients, like they can schedule time or same with your children. They can schedule time. You know, they need to see you as a boss, Amberlynn. They can see you as that. And then that's OK. Put a sign up on the door. <laughs> Just say, put a sign on the door. And we used to have to do that when we worked from home is, okay, we're at, we're in our office. We have work calls. We're going to come out from this time to this time, you know, or I'm in here from, from nine to 12. You guys, this is your time. And then 
and that's it. Or when they're in school, I'm going to work. When they get out, now it's free time. Yay. And, you know, that's doable. And, um, it's good when they're not like little, little. You yeah. Know, you can actually do that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, I got into it and the kids were three and four. Um, and mine schooled from home. So we always had rules. Hey, when we're here, you guys go do school. That's your work. We're working. You know, you guys have homework. We have work. So, um, and sometimes they were coming with me to work. So, um, what else? I mean, there's all kinds of things. Um, and just explaining it to them. What books do you guys want to read for next month? Weren't there a couple of books that were mentioned in that meeting um, that was in January um, that introduced this listing lab that Jess did? Wasn't there another book? I was thinking she mentioned two. Do you recall? I went through the seven figure Discord channel and some of the books that they mentioned was The Financial Feminist. How to Suffer Well, The Art of Self-Therapy, Atlas of the Heart, The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe. And where are these from again? Sorry. Um, we have like a chat channel for the seven figure um. agents. So there's like a book channel. So the agents were like blasting. So I was just kind of like scrolling through. Um, the yeah, 21 day momentum challenge the high five habit die with zero getting all you can from your money and your life leadership living your purpose staying on course huh i know i know i know i was like oh, that's kind of a good one Play your bigger game, lifetime, nine minutes to learn, a lifetime to live. Um, I have both. You're a badass at making money, and then you're a badass at doubting greatness. The badass chick. Um, confidence tackling self-doubt. Those are good books. Um, 21 day. Have it, day something. The 21 Day Momentum Challenge by Nathan Osler. I don't know, unless you guys have other books. I'm game for whatever. So many of those sounded good. <laughs> I know. Do you have one that you think would be a good follow up to the book we just did, perhaps? I line with it at all, or I think hers is just so different. It won't be okay. like this one. You definitely keep for like as your business is growing and make sure you're working on your processes <laughs> and staying on course of like running your business and marketing. Now, what you say, the key is like as we're reading these that you actually implement what we're doing otherwise it's not going anywhere right yeah. so and that's kind of what i liked about she's i feel like she stressed in the book like you can't just look at it and be overwhelmed because you don't need to do all those things right no. now you only have to do certain things and start building up to that as you go. So it kind of helps you not to freak out. Yeah. Be like, How do I do all this? Because you don't yeah. have to do it all. You start with, she basically said, you start with one thing and focus. And yeah, you have to start with, and, and the, the listings lab elite agent blueprint, like goes through that, like, yeah. So once they start on that, I think it'll all make more sense because the book was kind of an overview of the program. The 21 day momentum challenge is for action takers who feel their time has come 
The time has become truly unstoppable for their everyday lives. For those who have tried reading self-help books, taking courses or intended seminars without lasting results. Um, well, that won't be difficult to do once we start the 12 week program in the listings lab though. Yeah, develop healthy life fulfilling habits, have more energy, set your mind to get what you deserve in life, get unstuck in life, get have more confidence, work towards realizing your full potential, get into shape mentally and physically, beat procrastination, increase your focus, take your life to the next level. Okay, so it sounds like it'll complement it. Yeah. Okay, let's do that one. Okay. Day one, day two, day three, day four, okay. <laughs> day five. Complement. What was the name of it again? Um, I'll send it out to everybody. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Well, awesome. I've got to boogie. So, okay. I'm going to shut down the Zoom. Okay. All right. Thank Bye, you. Bye, you guys. Bye. Right. Good to see everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.